If you like 352 Media Group on Facebook this month, I'll bake you a cupcake. Maybe. All right, everybody, put on your interview hats. It's time to talk to Carl Smith from Engineworks. Hi, Jason. Hi, Carl. Hi, I wear your shirt, TV people. Um, thanks for having me on today, Jason. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome, Carl. Now, first question of this interview is how did Engineworks get its start? Uh, that's a great question. Um, how did Engineworks get its start? Well, I was working at a full service agency, advertising agency, and uh, it was 14 years of my life, really great time, and got to a point there where it seemed like the agency was going one direction and they were not necessarily going to go with the internet, and, and it was something that I had you know, just fallen in love with. So uh, my wife knew that I, I put together business plans sometimes, and she was like, you know what, grab one, Let, let's do something new, and, and I was scared as hell, but, uh, but decided to start a, a web firm. So at the time, uh, really design oriented, and uh, and we still are, but but we we do more things now. But um, but it was fun, and um, and it was one of those things where we said, you know what, if if we are nice and answer the phone and do what we say we're going to do, we're going to kick everybody's ass. It, it didn't even matter the industry, right? It's just nobody does that. All right, I'll take off the tiger hat. I don't need it anymore. I want to know next question, Carl. What makes EngineWorks special? What makes EngineWorks special? Uh, probably, I'm sure this is what everybody says, um, not about us, but about their company. It's the people. Um, we have a team of eight. We're East Coast and West Coast and up in Calgary, Canada. Um, and I think everybody has so much passion and cares so much. And I think that really is the difference. Uh, just the effort that everybody puts in. And it's also the challenge because sometimes clients will be really happy and they'll be like, no, no, we're good, let's go. And we'll be like, no, there's more to be done. Um, especially because we take a holistic approach. Uh, so we're never completely satisfied, but we do know you have to pull the trigger sometimes. But I, I think that extra emphasis um, on doing things correctly, I think that makes us a little bit different as well. Carl, thanks for the special sauce ingredients. I appreciate it. Now, if you had to define digital strategy firm, how would you define it for everybody? Because, I, I mean, obviously I already know. What is digital strategy? Fancy talk. You know, just a way to raise rates. Uh, no, digital strategy is, is really, uh, that's helping a client put together their vision for the future and how the internet plays a role. So if they sell a service that's online, it's about understanding how that service relates back to the customer. It's about understanding why the customer would care. Um, and, and it's about helping them learn how to engage with that customer and, and break away from the concept of, uh, of selling and get to the concept of engaging. Something that you understand, and, and the I Wear Your Shirt uh, family, I'm sure, understands. But, but that's what digital strategy is. It's about putting together a plan for the future that you can execute and adjust, but really understanding it, it's more than just social media or uh, website or anything of that nature. It's a, a much bigger uh, initiative. That's a good answer to the digital strategy question. I like it. Uh, how about your biggest challenge that you guys face on a day-to-day -day basis? What would that be? The biggest challenge, uh, I would say the biggest challenge that we face is helping clients learn um, to move from interruption to contribution, that it's, you can't just push out a, a marketing message anymore. You really have to listen and wait on a customer to engage you or find a, a very elegant way to engage them. Um, if you're at a cocktail party or, or at some sort of party and all you do is go up to somebody and talk about yourself and, hey, you should see my car, my car is awesome, and you should see my old girlfriend, woo, but I don't talk to you, you're out of there. You're like, get, get away from me. But if somebody shows up and says, oh, wow, so you're into cars? That's awesome. Yeah. And, uh, well, yeah, I love cars too. As a matter of fact, uh, I work for a car company. But, but you, you, you know what I'm saying. It's just helping clients understand you can't yell. You, you have to listen. No yelling. I got it. Sorry. No yelling. I got it, Carl. Well, what's the future then for EngineWorks? You know, I think a lot of it is taking everything that we've learned and starting to make some of our own products. Uh, we have a product now called Engine Express, which is very much in its infancy. Um, but I think it's going to be fun. It's, it's a, a design service. And then another one called Engine Connect, which is going to help people find uh, the right companies to work with. Um, and then also, we're growing. Uh, I, I resisted it for a long time, but it's something the team seems good with, and it's we just get so many great opportunities now with clients that uh, it's kind of hard to turn them down. So try not to be greedy or afraid and just uh, make good decisions and, and move forward. 
Blah, 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 blah. Sheesh. All right, let's get to some good questions. Do you have any special skills, Carl? You doing anything cool? Uh, let's see. Not a very good juggler. Um, hey, didn't you hang out with Jeffrey Zeldman one time? Did you hang out with that guy? In college. Uh, one time in college, yeah. He, he was an astronaut with a monkey, and I'm just a sucker for monkeys. Carl, very important question. Favorite color, M&M's? Blues and reds. Carl, second very important question. What color socks do you prefer? Color socks. Uh, pinks, maybe. Yeah, occasionally pinks. All right, Carl, very important question. You just walked into a bar. Justin Bieber is on the left. Linda Rothstein is on the right. Who would you talk to? I'm, I am a Linda Ronstadt fan, and I always have been and always will be. So if you don't like her, that's fine. But All right, Carl. Well, I just want to say thank you for answering all the questions, some nonsensical and some business-related. So thanks for being transparent, and I uh, really appreciate your time. Oh, thanks, Jason. No, I appreciate it. You're welcome, Carl. It's so much fun to be a part of the I Wear Your Shirt family, and so much fun to have, to have collaborated and worked together on, uh, on your site. I wish you all the best and future success. Oh, crap, Carl. One more question real quick. Carl? Carl? All right. Um, thanks for being a proud partner, Carl and Engineworks. I guess. Bye. Go to facebook.com slash 352 Media Group and click the like button. Please?